All right, John, let's get this out of the way. I have a, a 12 ounce can no, no, of Fanta Street, I'm sorry, orange soda. I have to open it up. I can't open it up, I gotta use a key. Ready? Go. I changed shirts, as you can see. Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday, June 15th, 2011. That was some great orange soda, by the way. That was, that was wonderful. I had some cupcakes later after that, but I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't film that, so you'll miss out on the wonderful Nutella-covered cupcakes. This week we're talking about comedy, I'm gesticulating wildly again, because that's what I do. I am a fan of comedy in all its many forms, be it stand-up or sketch comedy or comedic films. Ghostbusters at the top of my list. You mentioned my cousin Vinny at work today. You mentioned these, now these two youths, and you know, of course, my cousin Vinny is a classic. And of people I enjoy, um, Jerry Seinfeld, Jim Gaffigan, um, Greg Proops. I actually spent most of today walk, um, taking the bus down and then partially walking up listening to Greg Proops' marvelous The Smartest Man in the World podcast, which is like an hour's worth of sunshine to brighten up my day. Mitch Hedberg I've been recently getting into after I set up my uh, my little mostly 1990s comedy channel um, on Pandora. Which if you haven't found out that Pandora is now doing comedy tracks along with the standard music tracks they have, get on it because it's great. Aziz Ansari is another person I love. Um, Joe Wong who is, I believe, a Korean-American and a comedian. He is absolutely great. He um, did a bit once on, um, on David Letterman's show about, um, about the sign, all employees must wash their hands, which means the owner doesn't have to wash their hands. For some reason, I really, really enjoyed. Stephen Wright is another person I enjoy. George Carlin, of course. He's one of the, um, one of the greats. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good amount of people. So those are people you should start listening to or watching on YouTube. The videos of them are plentiful. This week's question, I'm going to do the habit choosing. I'm able to do it this time around, finally. It will be a question, it won't be a challenge. Had a choosing song, this is. I'm singing like Yoda now. Robin! Robin. I'm going to say, because I have the, um, I'm just gotten, I'm getting started reading Nick, uh, Neil Gaiman's, um, comic What Happened to Cape Crusader. Who is your favorite superhero and who is your favorite supervillain? Robin, I'll see you tomorrow.